English speaking course. Making complaints at a hotel. Good morning, Anita. Good morning, Lucas. How's it going? I have a feeling that something is going to happen today. Why do you think that? I don't know. It's just my gut feeling. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. I hope so. Good morning. How may I help you? I'm a guest calling from room 703. My TV remote is not working. Could you please describe your problem in detail? I haven't been able to use the control since last night. Every time I want to change the channel, I have to run back and forth and press the button. This makes me very upset. Please get someone to fix it right away. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I will send the technician up to you right away. All right, thank you. Excuse me. Hello, sir. How may I help you? I'm a guest of room 615. My room is right next to an elevator. Yes, I remember. Is there something wrong? Last night, I kept hearing loud talking nearby. Not only that, but the sound of the elevator moving is also annoying me. Then I don't understand what's wrong with your hotel. The staff kept moving furniture all day. The noise of all these things is very disturbing to me. Makes it impossible to sleep. I am sorry to hear that. But yesterday, the staff of the hotel did not move the furniture. Maybe they were just moving the luggage for guests. I don't need to know. I want to change the room immediately. I'm so sorry for the bad experience that you went through, but there are no rooms available now. So how are you going to solve this problem? I didn't pay my money to put up with all this noise. I want to speak to the manager. Please calm down, sir. Please sit in the lobby over there and wait for a few minutes. I will contact the manager to come see you right away. Okay, make it quick. Excuse me. Hello, madam. How may I help you? Yesterday, after I returned to my room, I went to the bathroom to turn on the hot water, but no matter how I tried, it never started working. So last night, I had to take a cold shower. Have you turned the faucet to red mode? I turned it up, but it still doesn't work. I see. May I have your name and room number, please? My name is Eliana Lauder. I'm in room 402. Please send someone up to check it quickly. Yes, I will contact a technician to fix it as soon as possible. And one more thing. My husband and I will be checking out one day earlier than scheduled. I have received the information. Please wait for a few minutes. Ah, there's a person checking out. So now there's an available room for me, right? Yes, that's correct. Please wait until I complete the checkout procedures for the guests in room 402. I will help you to change your room. Finally, please hurry up. The procedure has been completed. Our staff will check and clean the room. After you return the key to the current room, you can move to room 402. Sure, thank you. Hello, Lavender Hotel speaking. How may I help you? Hi, I made a reservation at the hotel on Thursday, but now I have an emergency, so I want to change the check-in date to Saturday. May I have your name, please? Sure, my name is Emma. I have booked a double bedroom. Is it Mrs. Emma Lopez? You have booked a double bedroom for Thursday. The check-in time is 11 a.m., 
Let me confirm if the information is correct. Right, but now I want to change the check-in time. I can't come on Thursday because of some personal reasons. I want to switch from Thursday to Saturday. Yes, I understand your situation. But according to the original registration schedule, you only booked for two days, Thursday and Friday. For that reason, the room was already booked by another guest on Saturday. If so, there's no need to book that specific room. You can give me another room on Saturday, as long as there's a room on Saturday for me. Yes, but it is high season right now, so our superior rooms are all fully booked. There are no available rooms left. So, how to fix this? We still have a few deluxe rooms. As a solution, I suggest you upgrade your room. Would you like to upgrade to a deluxe room? How much is a deluxe room per night? The price is $350 per night. That's too expensive. This room has many incentives. You will have free breakfast and free laundry. If you use spa services, you will have a 50% discount. You can also use the swimming pool and sports club for free. All right, then I'll change to a deluxe room. Okay, Mrs. Emma, your reservation has been made. One deluxe double room. You will have an early check-in at 11 a.m. on the 18th of March. Thank you. I am glad that I could help. Do you need any other information? That's enough. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Hi. Welcome to the Lavender Hotel. How may I help you? I've booked a room. May I have your name, please? I'm William Smiths. And may I see your ID, please? Sure, here you are. Okay, let me check. I'm sorry, I couldn't find your information on the booking list. No way, I already made a reservation. Could you check it again, sir? I couldn't find your reservation here. I've checked many times already. Please check once again. Okay, let me see. Ah, uh, I went to the wrong hotel. The hotel I booked was Rose Hotel. Sorry. You look tired, Anita. How was your day? Super busy. During the whole day, I met a bunch of people who came to complain. My feeling in the morning was right. What a full of problems day. The working hours are almost over. You can go home to rest. Tomorrow will be a beautiful day. Thank you. I hope so. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.